Okay, I'm picking up the energy of somebody who's quite literally looking at you in a really intriguing, or like the words intriguing and interesting are coming to mind. And so this is somebody who, it's like they're curious about you, but they're not quite sure how to act around you or how to present themselves to you. I'm hearing that they want to get it right the first time, or they don't want to make the same mistake as last time is actually what's coming through. I think those mean the same things. They really don't want to miss the opportunity to experience a love with you. And so you're going to be feeling, it's like I'm getting like a confused feeling almost. It's like they're not quite sure where they stand with you or maybe you're quite not quite sure where you stand with them. But ultimately what's coming in for this love connection is redemption. The word redemption is coming through something to prove like this person has something to prove to you um you're very much it's like a lesson for some reason is coming through like a lesson it's it's kind of like a test of have they learned their lesson with you and so maybe they've been in a previous love connection where whatever it is it was between them and their person it's like things didn't end right and maybe you know of this connection maybe they've shared this with you um whatever it is that happened between them and the, the person it's like you are a chance for them to redeem themselves is what's coming through and so the less overthinking you do the more beneficial it is for the both of you i'm gonna pull a card here just for clarity and tune in here a little deeper to provide you some more it's like clarity and also certain keys to let you know if this is actually for you or not Okay, so tuning in, Divine Spirit, oh, Goddess Aphrodite, thank you for being here. Can we just get one card for clarity here? I love love. I love Oracle. I love Tarot. I trust Divine Timing. Everything comes from within. Yeah, this is what I was picking up on within this connection. There's a strong need for you to trust this person's desire for you is what's coming through. It's like I keep feeling like you're questioning whether or not this person is actually loyal to you or whether or not this person wants to be with you. They really do. You intimidate this person not because you are... It's like you are special, you are beautiful, you are crazy intelligent, and you are something this person hasn't experienced, but that's exactly why they're so intimidated, is because you're someone that this person hasn't experienced before, and so they're really trying hard to learn and understand. I'm being told that like they need to let go, like they need to release control a little bit. It's kind of like they're trying to control the situation, which is just causing a lot of... Um, confusion like that's where the confusion is coming from and i'm picking up on like a tug of war contest between the two of you rosie i know you're about to bark don't do it don't hold back i heard the elevator so maybe um something is being delivered to you soon maybe this person is going to be delivering something to you soon and um, this could come in the form of it's like a love letter for some reason is coming through. So um, this could just be a message you receive from this person or like a gift that carries the message of love from this person. Um, there's something very strong about, okay, I want to give you some uh, confirmation points so you know if this is your person or not. There's something very strong about this person physically, but also just the way that they approach situations in life. They're very strong in the foundations of their belief they're very um rooted in the belief of it's like doing right by others like they they have strong mor morals a strong sense of loyalty and a strong loyalty to family as well this is like a family person a family man is what's coming through specifically but um this is somebody who it's i'm hearing they've taken it upon themselves to to create something better for you rosie don't hold on so again this is that it's, it's a very strong provider energy coming through um i'm picking up on you questioning whether or not this person actually wants to provide for you there's like a lot of self-doubt like i'm I love how it's self-doubt and not doubt in the person. You're doubting yourself. You are. You have been, I don't want to put that in your head, you are valuable, but you question that. You are worthy, but for some reason you question that. 
you are incredibly it's like this person has a strong desire for you but because you question it so much it almost like puts the energy on that person to question it they're like wait a second well you don't like you're questioning it well am i questioning it? so it's you get what i'm saying it's like you you are both kind of swapping energies at times and so it's really str so coming back to the rose it's really strong to find strong it's really important to find that trust in in who you are and what you bring to the table of a love connection right now um it's going to lead this connection in your desired path it, it's like the way that your desired outcome it's going like you deciding you are worthy you choosing to see yourself as valuable and this can be a consistent practice for you. It's okay if that's what it needs to be. That is what is going to be reflected to you in this connection. So when you really start valuing your time and energy and pouring into yourself, this person is going to become very attracted to you. Now, this is really important here because that that right there is a key code. So I call them key codes. It's basically a piece of information that unlocks within you a higher timeline, like a higher version of yourself. So it's like expansion within yourself. So that right there is a key to your expansion and also a key to achieving or receiving the desired outcome of this love connection so take that with you as it resonates um i i really wish you could see yourself the way this person views you because it's something special the eyes this person has for you it's like when they look at you they see sparkles like all around you so this makes me feel like they really see you as magic like they see you as something magical um something to work towards like a goal to work towards like um being able to care for you but this is also something that again internally you need to work towards in order to be able to receive so there's definitely a need coming from both parts to come together in trust in love and union within yourselves individually so that you can come together um as one so if any of this has resonated with you, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, if you do feel like you are ready to dive in further, if you feel like you are ready to receive fully your soulmate, your true love, to commit to loving yourself and calling in your kingdom spouse, your divine counterpart, I now have workbooks available. These are powerful angelic affirmations and channels that i myself have personally used to call in my true love soulmate my divine counterpart twin flame soulmate union um and i took them all i put them all together and created a workbook for you it is also a part of my master your reality class which i am now offering which covers learning tarot and oracle as well as practicing candle ritual magic so if any of that calls to you and you would like to be led by me this also includes by the way a personal weekly channel where you can show up and ask questions we can all come together as a group so if any of that calls to you um, you can click the link in my bio to find out more it's called master your reality class and i look forward to working with you if you feel called but if not i pray that you take with you tonight the realization of how worthy you are for love of how deserving you are of receiving your true love because the universe regardless of what you believe the universe is going to show you what you are worthy of whether or not that stays in your life and you are able to maintain and experience that is up to the amount of work and commitment you make to loving yourself